People often ask me, how did you start Orphan's Promise? I just smile and say, it was God. I'd be crazy to do anything this big on my own. I've met children all around the world as I've traveled with our camera crews. How can you be with these children and not want to help them? But you know, they need more than just food, clothing, and shelter. Every child wants to know that they're wanted and that they have somewhere to belong. But my Orphan's Promise adventure really started back home in Virginia Beach, Virginia. During a television interview, a couple told me about three sisters they'd met in a Ukrainian orphanage. The couple was approved to adopt only two children. So the oldest sister said she would stay behind so her two younger sisters would have the opportunity to have a real family. Tears filled my eyes as I heard this. What type of child is willing to make such a sacrifice? I couldn't get it out of my thoughts. I prayed, God, bring a family to adopt those girls. Little did I know, it would be my own. But our willingness to embrace another adoption didn't happen overnight. I already had four children, two of whom are adopted. Imagine the chaos of seven. My husband Andy and I clearly felt God calling us to become parents to these three little girls. But to be honest, I was looking for someone who would say, Terry, are you insane? Go drink a strong cup of coffee and forget about it. But everyone I confided in believed God was giving us an incredible opportunity. Still, I struggled with God's calling. God, I don't think I can do this. I just thought I'm not big enough for this. This is a huge job and I, it's too important. You know, if I owe this, I mean, are they suffering in the orphanage? Yes, but wow, God, I mean, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to, how to be everything they probably need us to be. And, and, and we're not perfect parents in any way. And I felt like God kind of chuckled and said, you're not going to do this. I'm going to do this. And you're just, you're going to come with me. So with God's promise to help, we added three wonderful Ukrainian girls to our family. Sophia, age nine, Zoya, 11, and Elisa, 12. Elisa came up and gave me a big hug and she whispered something in Russian in my ear and the translator happened to be standing next to me. And she said, thank you for coming. Because I think she gets it, you know, she understands that they were, they were in a dark place without light and there was redemption for them, not because of us, but because God has a plan and purpose for their lives. While it has been fulfilling, I won't tell you that it's always been easy. At first, there were language and cultural barriers, and later, profound emotional healing as we dealt with the traumas of their past, rejection, abuse, violence, and death. I slowly realized why God asked us to rescue these girls, and I'm so glad we said yes. And still, God had more on the horizon. Yeah, oh my I gosh, I remember this place! Three years after the adoption, I took the girls back to the orphanage in Ukraine to see their friends. This is my favorite day! It was a grand reunion for all of us. But in a few short days, it was time for tearful goodbyes. What about all these children who are left behind? God deposited something new in my heart that day. I knew this God adventure was about more than just saving three girls in an orphanage. It was about having a vision for Ukraine. It was about seeing things from an eternal perspective through God's eyes and putting aside my convenience and my comfort to grab hold of what God was doing. When you grab hold of God, you never know where he might take you. Fast forward 10 years. My vision for Ukraine has exploded into God's infinitely larger plan, a ministry called Orphan's Promise that now reaches children in 52 nations and counting. Orphan's Promise grew out of a willingness to first listen to God and then say yes each time he expanded the adventure and brought new opportunities along. I want to invite you to be a God adventurer too. It may mean being inconvenienced. You might have to put your plans and your comforts aside for a while. But can I tell you today that you and I were created for this. 
So don't just stand by and watch. Please join me through Orphan's Promise because these beautiful children need you.